All right, I am. I'm Lucretia Lyon, and I am here with Jennifer Wayne, John Wayne's granddaughter. But don't worry, she's made her own path with Runaway June, her country music band. Tell me a little about, little bit about Runaway June. I love it. Sounds very Tixie Chicks. Oh, thank you. Every time people say that, I'm yeah. like, it's, they're my idols growing up, you know. And so when we're in the same sentence with them, it kind of gives me chills. So thanks for saying that. But uh, we've had just a crazy couple years. Um, last year we had our first single out and it went top 25 and our team told us we're the first female trio in over a decade to have a top 30 hit so it's just crazy and we were out with Willie Nelson and Garth Brooks last year and now we're out with Alan Jackson so I'm like I'm still pinching myself I can't I'm still wondering if I'll wake up from a dream yeah, those are literally the top three country artists of all time. Garth yeah. Brooks, Willie Nelson, and Alan Jackson. It must be just like a dream to be involved with that. It, it really is. We started off, um, Willie asked us to go on tour with him last year in the beginning of the year. And he was so nice and called us up every single night to sing with him on the last song. And wow. just, uh, it was amazing. And then Garth Brooks, I guess, heard our music somewhere and, and liked us. And he's kind of taken us under his wing. And we opened up a few shows for him last year. And we ended the year opening for him. And um, I, I don't know, it's just, it's really crazy being out there with people that you grew up just totally admiring. And Garth was my hero. And you really learn a lot from them. So it's fun watching them on stage and watching how they treat people and their crew is so nice. It just kind of shows you from the top down, they're great people. Yeah, I mean, and Garth isn't the only uh, hit maker in his family. Did you get to spend any time with Trisha Yearbud? Yeah, so I was yeah. more starstruck <laughs> meeting Trisha than I was <laughs> meeting Garth. And she's just so nice and she sings. Like, I cannot believe the way she sounds. She sounds incredible. She sounds better than ever. And she also cooks. So in catering, they oh, always wow. would have her dessert. She makes really great pies. And so we were very spoiled out with them. Ooh, what kind of pie? Because my grandma makes the best chocolate pie and I don't even like chocolate pie. So I'm like, ooh. I've never yeah. had chocolate pies. She had like all sorts of, yeah. all sorts of different desserts and pies. But I think I tried her cherry pie. Ooh. It was really good. That's the best. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So we talked about Dixie Chicks a little bit earlier. So what's your favorite Dixie Chicks song? Because I, I mean, I could tell they were a big influence on you just listening to your music. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Well, thanks. I just, I love every song they ever did. But yeah. um, Cowboy Take Me Away was probably my favorite song of theirs. I just love that. Yeah, it's, it's such a nice, like, positive song, even though some of theirs are, like, fun negative, like, Goodbye Girl, yeah. but, like, Cowboy Take Me Away is just, like, a nice, just any kind of easy, breezy song, and that's what I noticed with your music, too. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Well, we kind of have this Western feel, too, and two of us are from California, so we're kind of bringing, like, a California country throwback Bakersfield sound, um, and it's just been a blast. We didn't intentionally do it. We just started writing music, and it kind of had this cowboy Western feel and so um our song now it's called wild west and we just broke top 40 which is really exciting um but we got to film the music video in um in arizona and santa fe i mean arizona new mexico <laughs> yeah, <laughs> santa fe and it was so cool we filmed in an old wild west set where they filmed like bonanza and my grandpa filmed, filmed some of the cowboys there and it was just a blast so we're having the time of our lives right now yeah, like I've never been to Santa Fe, but I've been to New Mexico and it's so beautiful. And I didn't realize that was where it was in the video. So I'm like, ooh, yeah. now I have to go because I watched the video too. It's so pretty. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah, I didn't want to leave. It was just to die for there. Yeah, and Wild West is such a good song. And then I also listened to Lipstick, which was so funny. It's like, yeah, you want a guy who messes up your lipstick, but not your mascara. That's so cute. I've heard that saying before, but never really in a song. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Well, I, for us, we kind of just you know, we want to send out positive messages. And that one's kind of just a fun way of saying, hey, be with someone that you love. And, you know, it's not, life's too short. It's not worth it to be with someone who makes you feel bad. And so I think for us, like, an important thing is um, being role models for um, younger girls. And I feel like that song just had such a good message to it. 
Yeah, and this whole film festival we're here at the Mammoth Film Festival is a lot of women in film, and of course you're women in music, but you're here for a specific reason, the North to Alaska screening here, because it was filmed here at Mammoth. I had no idea, by the way, because so much, you know, Western stuff being from Texas, you're like, I think it's more like New Mexico, like yeah. where you went, or Arizona, or Texas. You don't think of California, except, you know, Gary Allen, and then, of course, your grandfather. How was it to see him honored like that? It was so cool, and I didn't know that it was filmed here either, um, but my mom kind of was telling me stories about Mammoth and how this was such a big part of her childhood. They used to come up here all the time. My grandpa loved it here, and uh, they said that he loved it so much filming north to Alaska that they came up uh, for True Grit and shot some of the extra scenes for True Grit and Mammoth because my grandpa just loved it here. That's awesome because True Grit is actually my favorite John Wayne movie, that and Hondo. Which one is yours? <laughs> That's a tough question. I there's so many. There's parties. so many, yeah. but I love McClintock because my mom was in it. So oh, when I was wow. little, my grandpa was in all the movies, and I was like, oh, it's just another John Wayne movie. But when my mom was in it, I thought that was so cool. So McClintock was one of my favorites, and The Quiet Man. I love The Quiet Man. Oh wow, yeah, those are ones I wouldn't have even thought of because he has so many. I mean, <laughs> Rooster yeah. Cogburn. I mean, <laughs> I know The Cowboys yeah. was really good too with the kids. I love that one. There's a lot. Yeah, and um, so have you had fun here at the festival? <laughs> yes, I've had a blast. It's beautiful. There's snow in the mountains. Everybody's having fun. The films are awesome. Uh, we saw Sons of St. Clair, the documentary, last night, and that was just so cool to watch, especially being in music. Um, so, yeah, I don't want to leave. <laughs> yeah, like, I didn't get to catch uh, Sons of St. Clair, but I did see Unsolved, the Biggie and Tupac, like, a pilot episode. Did you get to see that one? No, I got yeah. here too late. I was dying to see See that I'm gonna have to go check that out yeah well it does premiere on USA soon and of course Josh Dumel stars in it and he's cute right yeah, who doesn't want to yeah. see him <laughs> <laughs> all right so is there anything else you'd like to tell us about Runaway June's upcoming tour with Alan Jackson yeah. well yes yeah, so we're out with Alan Jackson and um, we're really excited we're finishing our album at the end of the month and we're going in with Dan Huff who's a producer and he's done Everyone from Faith Hill to um, new guys like Midland, he's just incredible. Um, so to work with him is like a dream come true. And so we're hoping to finish our album. And we're playing Stagecoach in California oh, with yeah. Garth Brooks again. So that'll be awesome. A fun year coming up. Is this your first time at Stagecoach? No, I've played it once yeah. before, but it's my first time with the band Runaway June. And um, it's just so much fun there. Everyone's just having a blast, the music's awesome, the setting's great. It's just one of my favorite favorite venues. Yeah, and that's the thing is with Stagecoach, and of course, as I mentioned, Gary Allen, and like you say, you're from California. California has become a new country music haven. And yeah. like Austin became a film haven, we just switched, huh? Yeah. It's funny, well, and last year we were also on tour with John Party, who's an up and coming country singer, yeah. and he's from California. And then two of the Midland guys are from California. We were on tour with them. And so we kind of thought on the road, we're like, wow, we're kind of bringing this California country thing back. <laughs> it's really exciting. All right. Is there th anything else you'd like to say? Just have fun here in Mammoth. Uh, it's a beautiful place to watch movies and, and drink champagne and celebrate a film. I like that. Drink champagne. That's the most important part, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's where I'm going after this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right.